Everyone can relate to this video in some form or some shape. We all at times in our childhood have different experience, some may be physical, some may be psychological, some might be spiritual, and other things that might come that have us looking back on our past in a negative light. But even at adult stage, or if you're in your teenage and you're suffering from past hurt or whatever situation it could be, rape, abuse, whatever domestic violence, or whatever that is, we have to come to a place within ourselves where we find the reason to want to let go. Because if we don't find that need to let go of that past, then that past would only become best a friend with us in our present and also for our future as well. And a lot of us adults still wrestling with loads of stuff from our childhood, even if we're in our 40s, 50s, 60s, or even 70s, we still wrestle with a lot of stuff that took place maybe 40, 50 years back. And the best way how to deal with that is to come in contact with the truth and the honesty of it. A lot of times we might look back to say we might get the forgiveness of those who might trespass against us in those times, but many times that never gonna happen. So you would have to find the need for you to put closer to all of that might happen to you. And in this video, I wanna share with five ways you can get a hold of, let go of those past hurts. And the first one, you have to make the decision to let go. Things does not just disappear on its own. You have to let go of it. Don't keep bottling that pain up. Even if you don't express it to no one or if you express it to someone, you cannot just keep expressing it. You have to express it, then let go of that pause. The second thing, express your pain. And you have to take responsibility after you're expressing that pain. A lot of time we might have the listening ears of the friends, families, counselors, whatever that is. And we have to just express that pain regardless of how we're going to feel vulnerable after we do so, but we have to help ourselves in the healing process. And leading into the third, you have to start being the victim and blaming others. We always easily look back and say, if it wasn't that situation with that person or that thing, then I will be a better version of myself. Yes and no. Most cases we have to look in and say, at some point we might contribute to it. We may not contribute a full on, but we give a minimal rate of consent to certain things that might befall us in situations that when we look back, we might be ashamed of it, we're not happy with it, but some of it we have to take responsibility for most of, of what could happen now because since a person or people are not around for you to, you know, maybe get an apology from or whatever that is from, then you have to take full responsibility of what happens to your life right now because everything is still within your grasp and your reach as well. And it leads into the fourth thing. And you're going to have to focus on the present. Many a time, our mind drifts us back into the past where the event or the things occurred. And that's where we live most of our time. And even our relationship with ourselves, with family, with our children, our wife, husband, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, you name it. We tend to have a kind of difficult way to express or even love them and love ourselves. We have a bit of awkwardness in a minute different things and all because we have that time where we just lapse back into a past and we dwell upon those past events and like i said you have to make sure your focus be in the present and also be in the now that's where you're going to find joy that's where you're going to find happiness and that's where you're going to be feeling like you're healing from all of that things that befall you and the last but not least is to forgive them and also yourself that's the hardest thing is to forgive others because we think they have to pay back for what they've done and until they pay, then we won't let go. And sometimes even when they do pay, we won't still let go as well. So find it into your heart to let go and forgive them. Most of the time they do what they do out of lack of knowledge, out of not having that insight. And we who grow above that and have more insight and things, have more knowledge, wisdom and experience, we have to realize that that's all they know back then. You or I, we are in the position where we can able to forgive them and also forgive yourself and start to embrace and love yourself again and start to feel like a human all over again. 
the moment we lessen some of those burdens of holding grudges in our heart in our mind then we feel less and we feel more alive so why not feel alive for yourself why not feel the need to have less of the stress and the worry and the frustration in your mind be at ease and like I said, if you continue to exercise these five different tips, then you can see a transformation that take place or will take place within your life. And you can see your halo, your glow, everything starts to look up for you. So like I said, all of us at some point been through some rough times in our personal life as a child. But holding on to all of those childhood past hurt, it will affect how we progress in our future and how we deal with also with our presence as well. So let not your past hinders you from future good or future things that can be a good value for your life. Let go, find ways how to bury your things, go for a walk sometimes, go for maybe yoga, do something to cleanse your mind from all of these activities of the past. Because holding on to these things would only get you more sick, get you more depressed, and have you to hate those people who have contributed to all of these hurt. So this is a video. I hope you can find peace within yourself to listen to it. And also you can find peace to forgive yourself and also forgive those which are obviously have caused you pain and hurt over the course of time. So please like, share, subscribe to this channel. I do tend to post videos on a weekly basis. So have a blessed day and make sure you share this video with loved ones. And have a blessed day and may God bless you and also your spirit.